Who defines who is intelligent? Tony Buzan is the world-renowned champion of mind-expanding techniques and the inventor of a simple but vital aid to learning called mind mapping. What is intelligence? How do you define it? What does it mean? His books about learning skills have sold in their millions, and in classrooms across the country, his methods have found a willing and eager response from school children of all ages. Tony Buzan has built his global reputation on a fundamentally simple idea, which he christened the mind map. But what is a mind map, and how does it work? A mind map is a tool for any thinking task. If you have a mind map, it's all in one picture. You can see what you have done, what you need to do, what's a priority, what can wait. So you're always in control. You are running your own life, rather than the pace and the stress of it running you. So the mind map is a, it's a, a tool for life, but it's also a tool that helps you manage, run, create, plan, and make more successful your life. Mind mapping is not just for youngsters, as this local news report demonstrates. The mind magician Tony Buzan checks out his audience. Yeah, how many of you uh, feel stressed? These A-level students are certainly not short of motivation, but with examinations just around the corner, Tony's mind mapping techniques once again prove invaluable. The pressure's on, but Tony's about to teach them a new trick that could revolutionize the way they revise. It's called mind mapping, and once you start, you just can't stop. If I was to write an essay, I definitely wouldn't get that many ideas, so mind mapping is definitely a better way. It's really useful, it's a good technique for a vision. Um, I'll definitely start using it in the future. Tony Buzan's method of visual targeting has had an impact in some surprising places too. The legendary British Olympian Sir Steve Redgrave used it to focus his mind on the ultimate goal, winning. People don't realise of how much the mind plays a part. When you watch top sporting events of, of whatever they are, um, they talk, they, the commentators talk about the, 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 the mental side of it, the pressures they're under and all that side of it. Gold for Great Britain and a place in the record books and British sporting legend for Stephen Redgrave. Visualisation is being recognised as a major weapon in the sports arsenal. It's fitting that Tony Buzan, himself an accomplished oarsman and coach to the women's British Olympic rowing team, should have provided Steve Redgrave with a key weapon in his winning armoury. I'm certainly an athlete when I'm on visualisation that I'm actually there doing it. You stand on a, on a start of an Olympic race and it comes down to the, the, uh, the, the battle of the brains in some respects, of who's got the best tactics, of, of who can mentally switch on to what they've actually got to do. And that's really the important side of sports. Tony Bazan is the best-selling author of over 80 books on the brain and learning, published in over 100 countries and in 30 languages. Recently, he has launched a series of books aimed not only at younger children, but also at GCSE and A-level students. Tony Buzan advises governments and education authorities all over the world, including Singapore, Malaysia, Mexico and Australia. This year, he successfully launched a series of educational books in the People's Republic of China. At a time in mankind's evolution, when the brain has never been so overloaded as it is now, the simplicity and effectiveness of Tony's techniques will enable us to develop elementary strategies for dealing with more complex issues in life. I believe that the, the brain is the, it's the new frontier. You know, we've actually, we're down in the oceans, we're down into the microcosmos. We've got the Hubble reaching literally to the ends of the universe. And we are suddenly discovering that there's this other universe and it's the universe inside the human brain, which as soon as you start to go into that, you realize expands infinitely in all directions. We are a universe in ourselves. And as soon as we start to realize that and explore it, the potential is not only limitless, it's also uh, it's magical in its implications.